Welcome Traveller, I'm free to play and I'm your guide for a successful free to play adventure on Astera. Today I'll show you why I decided to pull for the Triangle Strategy units. Both of those units are great. I've heard they got buffed a lot, which can make sense if the sales on those units weren't as high as expected in JP, so Ian had to adjust to gain a bit more money from us. And I have to say, both of those units are really that good as people say. I'm starting with Roland. So it's interesting that his high chance of getting this passive polar on debuff is like every time you attack. So you can count on him to almost always have the extra polar arm damage on top of two skills which do cap the physical defense and polar arm resistance on an active level and having the ultimate also decreasing the polar arm resistance again and that before he is attacking. So without any big help he is able to cap almost every debuff by himself with very few attacks. The switching buffs he gives himself are also very neat for stacking debuffs on each other in long battles, but as soon as you're going to use his ultimate, which also gives a huge boost to your spare comps, he won't change into the back row because he is way too strong at this moment. So without any other merchant, he is such an amazing unit to put into your general comps. But if he's with other merchants, the increase in damage will be insane as soon as he gallops into the front row. Having him U10 is preferred if you pull him twice because his ultimate's debuff potency will rise and you can use that amazing 4 times single target attack twice in battle. Having Frederica without any awakenings is a real plus in the team, which is elemental attack based, as she can get rid of 2 shields and cause combust for 3 turns. So having her as the slowest party member right next to your tank, she can act as the last one to shave to 1 shield and then you can go all out for 2 turns of elemental damage increase and increased elemental attack passive, which is extremely nice on units which does not get any elemental attack boost by themselves like Primrose or Stead without the enemy bleeding. You can of course make her the fastest in your whole team to outspeed even Barricade level 100, so making two tomes of fortune to make her the slowest or the fastest depends on your situation. If you're not playing her just for the sake of being a fire elemental DPS, which she totally is, but that is not why I pulled for her to be exact. If we'd exchange Gilderoy with Fiori X here, I'd combust the enemy from the start, getting the damage and elemental attack up right at the beginning, which would make Eliza and Eunice obsolete, and we can exchange them for Federica behind Prim, take Dorothea or Richard instead of Eunice to raise the Paulan damage for the whole battle capping Roland's spare damage when he's switching with Lynette, and for another spare DPS behind Fiori X, which is profiting from all the debuffs on the enemy and passive spare buffs, so he, she can hit hard in the break. So they are good for themselves, but together with a few units, they truly shine and seem enormously overpowered. So if you have Fiori X or need better elemental damage output in general, because you may lack Lynette, for example, then Frederica is just the right unit for you. And Roland is just awesome all by himself, but if he's around, all of your merchants will profit from him so much. And with all his pole arm resistance down skills, Cerna's A4 is finally of good use, because pole arm resistance down will never fade away, so you can get the 10% physical attack up on any one of your units who needs them in your team. So both of them being enormously powerful even at A0, you can consider a full paid step up then, which guarantees that unit you want to have, which we did not have before in the whole game. This would be the first time the money would be worth it, because it's not the a 4 you which you are after, it's just the unit itself. Of course, I did not buy those units, so no, but I I thought you're free to play all the time. At last it's a single player game made for adult people and every adult can make their own decisions on how to play the game. But that is my opinion. If you think otherwise or have something else to say here, you're welcome to write in the comments or in my Discord group. And if you'd like this channel to class up, I really appreciate a subscription and thumbs up. See you next time, you're free to play.